Right, this is a quick uh, video about the uh, vintage guitar company. I'm just going to show a few guitars that they make, which are superb quality. They're a UK based company, based in Leeds, import export. Basically, they do the designs, they outsource the work to Chinese factories. Uh, we've got a semi acoustic 12 spring there, we've got a Les Paul copy. The lemon drop. This is uh, the reissue, and this is uh, version one of the reissue. We've got a discontinued guitar, uh, the uh, SG Mick Abrahams. This they made for a short period of time. Another lemon drop a reissue here. This is version two. And we can sell, tell the subtle differences between version one and version two of vintage guitars. Um, uh, you get on version one inlays, uh, whereas on version two you, you, get, you get silk screen. It's a money saving option of uh, vintage have taken up just you know it's, you make small savings here and there it adds up overall this is a, a version 2 of this guitar the VSA 53512 with the silk screen the original had uh, inlays and this had a slightly different motif on the headstock slightly different design and uh, the later designs that I've talked about in my uh, earlier video, they've changed, they've offset the horns and made the body unsymmetrical. That's just uh, in reaction to a cease and desist letter from Gibson. The only way they can carry on producing their semi acoustics is uh, to actually change the design. They've dressed it up saying it's improving the access to the frets, but the reality is it's because Gibson have told them they'll be suing them if they, uh, if they carry on with uh, the straight lift designs of the 535. This is a this is an upgraded uh, Les Paul Pete Green Lemon Drop. Uh, it's got um, Seymour Duncan, a whole lot of love pickups. But yes, yeah, superb quality for the money. These retail for about 400 new. Spent a bit more money on that guitar because uh, had it upgraded. This, but uh, this uh, SG is based on the uh, SG Special, and it was a, an Icon series, so it had a little bit of uh, work done on it to make it by vintage to make it look road worn, but not a very good job. They just basically not dyed the wood to look like uh, it's been worn. A little. They didn't make this guitar for very long. It's a discontinued model, like the 12 string I've just showed you. Designed by Mick Abrahams, but pretty much based on the uh, the SG Special. And this is a version two of the um, Lemon Drop reissue. Uh, nice finish. Uh, you know, vintage. Um, I use Trevor Wilkinson hardware. Uh, you've got the glued neck there. Uh, one thing you do notice with different versions of the same guitar, they uh, generally use different factories, so you get different things like on the version one. That is that is a three-piece neck, and version two of this guitar is a four-piece neck. So yeah, good guitars, well made, Chinese made, cheap, the best quality, some of the best quality cheap guitars I've come across. I'd certainly uh, advise looking for them. If you, if you can find ones that haven't been discontinued because they don't last very long. I think they made this 12 string version 1 for about 3 years and version 2 for about 2 years. So 
There are a few version 2's still in the shops, but not many. Uh, they're still making the, uh, the Peter Green reissue lemon drop. Uh, of course you won't find one with this arrangement of uh, volume pots because I've added those part of the uh, rebuild and upgrade on this guitar as I have put Gibson volume knobs on this particular guitar as well rather than the arrangement that it came with which is the, the different colour setup and uh, this, this guitar as I say it was discontinued a few years ago excellent quality beautifully made aged binding very the closest uh, SG I've found that comes close to the SG special for, for a relatively cheap price hope you like this video